Hello and welcome to No Code Mafia where we talk about anything and everything in the world of no code. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to put your own custom fonts on Bubble. Say you have a font that you want to use like uh Helvetica or something that you go off got off online something creative that you want to use to do some automation so you can use it with your application. All right so without any further ado let's get started. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to put your custom fonts that is something like this onto Bubble. So here I can show you that the font that I'm going to put doesn't exist. So it's the name is Quicker. It doesn't exist. I'm going to be using it for this UI. Um it doesn't exist right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data, go to file manager, hit upload. The only thing is that all the fonts that you want to upload have to be separate. so like the different weights that you want to upload have to be separate and you just name them accordingly which is quite easy because fonts already come with all the different settings so all you need is just to keep the fonts that you want to upload in one folder so it becomes easier so let's do the bold one first uh we click on upload it uploads the file and in a few seconds yeah we should see this we right click and copy the link address all right so how bubble works is the file that we upload we're going to upload another file right now just right now after this uh, the file that we're going to upload is going to have a dot css that's basically going to tell bubble that hey this style has to come from this particular font that we upload so we're going to be creating a text edit document so on windows there's a similar comparison i don't know right now so text edit and i'm going to create a new document in the same folder at and all that we have to type is at at font face right and open this you open a curly bracket font family quicker sans bold close the curly uh, close the double quotes and close the semicolon then we're going to put src colon url open the bracket um put a quote and remember we copied the link from there we pasted over here all right close the quote close the bracket put a semicolon close the bracket we're done all right so all we need to do is make sure that font family it doesn't auto correct it to be wrong so this has to be exactly what you know your font is it doesn't need it doesn't it can have spaces that's fine and make sure this is not capital it's one all right perfect so now and look at this i found an amazing spelling mistake it's supposed to be font face all right save it in a css file format so quicker sans bold dot css all right so what we can do is we can get rid of the spaces just in case um and then it's going to ask us if you want to save it in .txt or css we click on css so now that it's saved um uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to upload the same um css file all right and there you go we're going to copy the link for the css file now all right copy the link for the css file go to settings go to general and scroll down of custom fonts all right so here we go and put the exact same name that we want quicker sans bold and then paste the file path and click on add font we know if it works if the file turns up like this and when we go to uh design so this works and then we click on this uh we remove this style so now if we type quicker sans bold there we go the font is there and that's basically how you create your custom fonts on bubble thank you for watching this video if you found it helpful please leave a like you guys can comment down below on any future help you guys would want on bubble on any no code site if you have suggestions or anything it may be just comment down below i would love to learn and uh, improve on my video thank you very much guys Sayonara see you no code mafia out